everyone. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. In this video, I'm going to install the intake manifold and we start with the valley pan. The difficult part about these valley pans is getting them to seal in the corner where the cylinder head meets the block. And um, you don't want to bend it too much. You don't want to bend it and ruin the embossing there because the embossing actually helps the sealing. So once you have the holes lined up, here I got one lined up in the head here, have them line up as good as they're going to be aligned. You can take something soft, like a piece of aluminum, I have something here with some round edges, and just, just putting a light amount of pressure in there, making sure it's lined up like you can just lightly, just sort of, just it, lightly press in there just to get it to bend. And again, don't ruin the embossing part of here, you don't want to do that. And I'm just trying to get it to shape to the, the valley where the head meets the uh, block. Just to bend it just a little bit. It doesn't take that much. This is very thin. It bends very easy. And I do this on all four corners. Once you have that done, the gasket should want to sit here by itself when you line up the holes without too much downward pressure. I Meaning you, you shouldn't have to force it in. It should want to stay there by itself without popping back up. Now we start by cleaning all the gasket surfaces on the front and back of the block, the china walls, and around each of the intake ports on the cylinder heads. Now the big controversy, uh, these paper gaskets that come with your valley gasket. These are supposed to be used, and, and the way it's recommended, or the way they say is, you're supposed to put one on the outside between the gasket and the head like that, and then put one on top of it to make a sandwich out of these. And um, in all the 440s I've built, I've never used these paper gaskets. Even when I'm using a cast iron block and aluminum cylinder head. Now I've never used these. The only thing I've made sure is I've had, uh, I've made sure that there's plenty of sealant around all these embossed areas underneath the gas, underneath the valley pan gasket. So all of these embossed areas, when they get pressed down, they seal all the way around. In the corners of each head, around each manifold port, along the bottom just to get a seal there, and in the embossed areas. That's really it. Um, I've never had any leaks, I've never had any problems. So I'm going to leave these out and just go with the layer and I'm using right stuff. Right stuff all the way around on the block first, on the bottom of the pan and then we'll set it in place and put our end uh, hold downs in. Okay, sealer inside and on the bottom of the pan and carefully set this in place so the holes line up. Now, now we start with the end plates. Take down our end plates first. Make sure we have squeeze out between the gasket and the corner of the cylinder heads. Start with that. Both sides. Quick cleanup on the inside of the runners. Sealing on the outside. Seal it on the manifold and we'll set it in place. Set it into place. Making sure the holes are lined up. Now I'm just going to hand tighten these down a little at a time. Following the torque pattern. To get the gaskets to start to seat. Finish torque to 25 foot-pounds. Just to finish it off, let's put our gasket on and set our Holly 950 on top just to see how it looks. That's going to be one mean engine. So take your time when you're fitting 
the valley pan gasket. If you put too much stress on there, or if you push it in and try and put the intake manifold on, you'll add a stress there. And with aluminum heads, I've seen them expand and move a little bit, and I've seen those pans crack in the middle. So don't put too much stress on there. You don't want to induce a stress, which will cause a crack. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.